Hello all, welcome to the PCAP to XML's introduction video. Now this is a tool which can convert an 802.11 PCAP trace file into its XML and SQLite equivalent. Now why do we need that in the first place? So let me actually go ahead and look at how traditionally Wi-Fi security researchers, pen testers, hackers work with PCAP trace files. So here is a PCAP trace file. It's around 51 megs in size. Really not that large for a PCAP file. Has around a quarter million packets in there. And as you can see, that's a ton of info. Now Wireshark filters are fantastic. And let's say if you wanted to look at all the beacon frames, we can easily apply a filter and we see all the beacon frames in there. And as you can clearly see, this is around 26,303 of them. However, if I now told you to give me all the unique MAC addresses which are sending out these beacons, Wireshark wouldn't be able to do that. If I told you, give me all the unique MACs uh, in this whole trace file, whether those are client devices, AP devices, ad hoc networks, whatever they might be, again, Wireshark can't do that. Now, the only solution you have is to probably use something like Scapy or some other library in Ruby or Python, parse the packet, figure out this information yourself. Now, this is where PCAP to XML comes in. Now, PCAP to XML can convert this PCAP file into an XML file which, which, which you can then go ahead and construct XPath queries or X queries or a SQLite file where you can do the familiar SQLite uh, or SQL querying. Let me show you how. So I've taken up PCAP to XML. I'm going to take up the same trace file sample2.pcap and I'm going to store the output as let's say let's just do the SQLite file first let's say sample2.db right the tool automatically now goes through each and every packet figures out the WLAN header in there and pushes it into a SQLite database in a well formatted table where every single header field is mapped to a table column. So this should probably just take a minute. You can see it's quite fast. Uh, you're talking about a quarter million packets in there, quite decently fast. We are adding more and more optimizations. Now, currently in version 1.0, PCAP to XML supports the WLAN MAC header. We are going to be adding support now for parsing the payload, which would be management control or data packets. Uh, and you should find a lot of these updates coming in shortly. So in 31 seconds, we managed to parse around quarter million packets. And if we go inside the directory, you would actually find your sample2.db in there. Fantastic. Let's open this using a SQLite browser. There we go. If you notice, there are two tables in there, one which says Mac headers, the other which says packet. So now if you browse the data, you actually see packets basically contain the list of packets, a little bit of meta information, and the Mac header in here really contains the entire WLAN Mac header, every single, uh, header field mapped to a column in here, right? Uh, how detailed is the XML schema? Well, pretty much every single field is covered. So if I were to open this up, there you go. We have covered every single field, frame control, protocol, type, subtype, blah, 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 the whole nine yards of the WLAN MAC header. So now if I go back to my SQLite browser, can actually now apply arbitrary filters, just like Wireshark to begin with. So if you looked at frame control field, 
your type is zero and your subtype is eight for a beacon. You can go in here, put the type to zero and then put your subtype to eight. And there you go. Now you have the same 26,303 frames which Wireshark gave you. Now the fun doesn't stop here. Now you could actually let's remove the filters. Rather, let's remove the filters entirely. You could actually execute SQL, where now I can pick up a SQL query. Open this up in WordPad so that we get some good formatting. Now, if I wanted to look at all the distinct MAC addresses in the entire PCAP file, right? All I would have to do is construct the appropriate SQL query, put it in here, and run the SQL query. And there you go. There seem to be 86 distinct MACs. Of course, some of the stuff like an FF would be there as well, but you can improvise your query more and more and get just the unique MACs of interest. You can see that this probably would have been impossible to do with Wireshark. Now, I'm doing this with a SQLite browser, but nothing stops you from running a simple query from within a Python script and then reusing that data to probably start an automated tool. Uh, the fun doesn't stop here. If I wanted to find all MAC addresses which were sending out beacons, here we go. This is all there is to it. Now I'm just selecting address two for the BSS ID and there we go. We seem to have 16 unique MAC addresses which are sending out beacon frames. And here are the MAC addresses, right? Fantastic. Now, just like what we've done with SQLite, you can also create XML output using PCAP to XML and then have XPath queries do similar stuff, right? You can have graph visualization tools then when you can work with them. A ton of other cool stuff. So this is just the introduction video. In the video series, I'm going to take you through each and every function and show you how as a Wi-Fi pen tester, this tool can be very, very useful to you. And of course, we are actively developing this tool. So eventually over the next couple of weeks or months, you should be able to pretty much write a query involving any field in an 802.11 packet header. Okay, so that's all I have in mind for this video. Please download and try this tool out. And if you're enjoying your time at Pen Tester Academy, please do recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you and have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.